Hello everyone, and welcome back to Beyond Blue, where we have been going deeper and deeper in our sub and in our dives to explore what the open ocean has to offer and try to get to the bottom of exactly what is hurting all of the sperm whale that we have been following. We just found a whole pod of them coming up from having done a bunch of their hunting uh, with all of the squid that have been going by, and one of them was really hurt. And I'm going to get to the bottom of what was going on with that one. All right, I think we have... Do we need to call Irina? We've already called Irina. So I think we're actually ready for a dive. So let's back up. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I think we left off right about ready for a dive and oh it looks like we're reading coping with loss oh we're definitely not reading some light-hearted books but we've got a lot going on oh complete our conversations in the helm chair okay so we did have another conversation that we needed to have possibly with Irina again this time there's so many mola mola just clinging to the sides this is this is kind of amazing all right let's see what we can do here do I need to re-listen to the message from Andre? Hi, Mirai. Sorry to miss the post diet brief. I've been listening to our humpback recordings for hours and got myself in a kind oh, of Oh, this fun. is a new message. Actually, I started listening to the humpbacks and then switched to Miles Davis. Anyway, I don't see any clear sign that our playback influenced any of the other whales yet, but I just know we're on the right track. I'm sorry to be in such a mood. Why do we want to don't influence them? Don't know what to make of those turtles or what's going on with our sperm whale family. Right. Catch you in a bit. I wonder why he sounds sad about the turtles, too. That's a little confusing. All right, dive ready. So, search for giant squid. <gasps> search for giant squid using a light based lure. Oh my gosh, I totally want to do that. And we also need to collect some microbial. Let's see. So, we're going to have a really cool lure to try to attract a giant squid. And the temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. The dive visibility is going to be very poor, so we need to be ready to really move through a darker area. And we need to collect some microbial near a large brine pool for clues on potential cures to human diseases. Alright, these underwater brine pools are super important. They actually happen to be a source of where people think that human life may have begun, which is just amazing to me. There's a lot of new books down here too. What's going on here? Oh, this is the lure series. Okay, so these are a bunch of the lures that we actually need. Look at that. I wonder what we're doing there. That's so cool. And then there's something else over here. Wrist radio technical manual to make sure that everything's working okay. And it looks like I have some new notes that are actually up on the board here. If I can just... There we go. Ask Andre, turtle recovery, how? Where are the nest beaches? Ask Andre, why was the sensor in the cave? Did it fall off? What about distressed whales? Did the sensor get knocked off by whatever scored the side of that whale and then the octopus found it? And Irina, how close is the harmful algae bloom? Man, there's a lot we have to do every dive. All right, we have a whole bunch of new insights that we'll have to go ahead and look at sometime soon. Meanwhile, let's get ready to go. Day 12 spent the last five days on an endless series of depth tests of Andre's deep diving suit. Guess he doesn't want me to implode on the live stream. I do hope it's giant squid proof though. The mapping drone located a brine pool near where Andre's family has been hunting. That is before it went AWOL. Ready to die. I mean dive. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit of dark humor. I don't know if, I ooh, okay. I thought that was something. It's I'm literally a rock. Okay. Enough test dives. It's not like I'm doing a spacewalk. Well, with this suit, you probably could. <gasps> Are we gonna talk about suit crush depth again? I think we can probably roll. Starting the live stream. Welcome back, ocean friends. Tonight, I am deep. Midnight zone, no light from the surface deep. Tonight, we're using Andre's lure drone to mimic the Atolla jellyfish to lure large predators like the giant squid. <laughs> it's certainly not all my tech. I'm building on years of prior research. Don't forget our mission to the prime pools. Oh yes, Arena will fill you in on that later. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite fish ever. Behold the female 
anglerfish. And you know that this one is the female because they are really, really big. And the males are teeny tiny little things that actually disintegrate up against her once they mate. He'll bite into her side and he'll contribute his sperm to add to the gametes uh, that she will use to fertilize her eggs and go ahead and make more anglerfish. And then slowly but surely his whole body will actually merge with hers and he'll end up becoming nothing more than a bit of impulse that continually supplies fresh gametes to be able to give her fertilized eggs. Talk about the edge of evolution. This is amazing. I love, I love, 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 love anglerfish. They're just so fascinating. All right, the Atlantic football fish, which is another name that they're known by. Let's see what else decides to come out of the depths. And you could see how she was glowing. That little lure is to attract prey to her big mouth. All right, so where are we going? Oh, another one, yes! Okay, these football fish are amazing. And there's more of those comb jellies. And who's this? Oh, lantern fish. The squid were hunting this last time. Wow. I don't know much about lanternfish, so that's going to be fun to try to learn about. And at least our scanner picks up where the animals are. That really helps out quite a bit, actually. Alright, anybody else around us? Oh, another one! Yeah, like I said, absolutely one of my favorites. Oh, look at that bioluminescence. That's just amazing. Look at her. Okay, I love her. All right, moving on. Looks like there's more lantern fish up there. Oh, a barrel eye fish! <gasps> I absolutely want to see okay, this Andre, barrel eye fish. How do I find the Lyra drone? Look for blinking red lights in the water column. Oh, barrel eye fish are so cool, you guys. Their eyes are actually inside of their heads but they can see through a sort of clear patch that they have developed over where you normally would find your eyes. Oh, we're gonna have to do so much more research. I love all of these guys. Oh, whoa. Okay, quick zap of those guys as we go by. Somebody is down here. Comb jellyfish, comb jellyfish. And over there, another barrel eye fish. And over here. No need to get too close. You can activate the lure from there. Andre, have you done this before? I haven't, but others have. How long until we can expect the lure to attract a predator? Uh, it's hard to say. It's a big ocean. But if you lose patience, I would find some real atona jellyfish. I have a feedback system set up to improve the lure as you scan them. Of course you do. For those watching, we will be scanning these Atola jellyfish to make sure Andre's lure matches the real thing. It does. Wow. It can always be refined. Not much confidence wow. in humanity, but plenty in himself. Okay, that's beautiful. Look at you. All right, so this is the Atoll jellyfish. I would love to learn more about them. How do they propagate? How many are there? How can squid survive eating these guys? All right, where do I need to scan them? Got right the here? jellyfish scans, though. Andre doesn't oh, cool. need them. In truth, they should improve the lure. I would not waste your time. Getting a few impolite comments on the screen pointing out that giant squid don't oh. feed on Atolla jellyfish. They're right. Actually, the Atolla puts on this light show when under attack in order to lure creatures big enough to eat their attacker. Might have some useful human applications. I think we need more Atolla scans to improve the lure. Okay, so actually the Atolla jellyfish is not one of the ones that the squids eat then. That's what I thought, like... They're so okay. fascinating. Whose idea was it to live stream this particular dive? I am glad I can't see the comments. I would agree. My <laughs> grandmother had a saying for times like this. I'm not going to try my grandmother's accent on a live stream, but... Loosely translated, it means if you get bored waiting for a giant squid, you can always go to a prime pool. <laughs> Irina. That's a pretty specific saying. Okay, so I think what we're doing is we're trying to attract the giant squid to us 
using the jellyfish's emergency lure. So these Atolla jellyfish will send out a certain type of bioluminescent patterning to try to attract other bigger predators to come and eat whatever might be eating them. Which leaves the question of what eats the Atolla jellyfish, but I think we'll have to answer that later. All right, last one. Let's see what we have here. Most likely a sign that they have detected predators in the region that threaten them. Okay. So what predators? Should we be like a hundred percent comfortable on this dive? Oh <gasps> so cool! Ah, that gave me a chill. <laughs> That was the giant squid! How many giant squid are there? I have no idea about their population. I know how much you enjoyed that, but do you mind if we check out the brine pool before we check on our whale cam? If you insist, you got what you wanted. This is my giant squid. Hmm, is that another one of your grandmother's sayings? No, but she often used this one. Hurry up and collect my specimens for me. <laughs> what an expressive language. It's not a giant squid, but I promise you, you won't have to wait to find it. Hmm. Oh, so cool. All right. So that just raises even more questions. How many giant squid are there? Do they hunt in specific regions? I know sometimes you can find them in the Gulf Coast because of the really amazing live footage. Oh, <gasps> that was so cool of giant squid that we could see. However, they will try to eat anything and everything. So the fact that we're out here makes me a little nervous. Makes me want to give off like some sort of threatening warning light. All right, let's do this. It's like swimming through space. There's almost no sense of where we're going. You just have to trust that you're headed somewhere. At oh, the long brine last, pools. welcome to the brine pool. <gasps> I know it's really a salt lake under the ocean, but it looks more like a witch's brew. I have been teasing Arena, but a brine pool is a diverse micro environment within the ocean. It has its own ecosystem. And each one is unique. So that means the microbiology is unique and could hold groundbreaking solutions to human problems. Each time I take new samples into a lab here, this ship. It's this magical discovery moment where I tinkle all over. I fund my own research so I can pursue what I know to be important. And people ask me, how much money are you going to spend to collect some bacteria at the bottom of the ocean? If these bacteria hold the cure for a disease that relieves even just a small amount of human suffering, how do you put a price on that? Oh, that there we go. Giant squid. Okay, so I think we saw some giant squid nearby just now. And this is the brine pool, so it's a little difficult to see from this angle. But the brine pool is actually a heavy solution of brine that does look like it creates a sea under the sea. It's really difficult to explain. Oh, let's keep our eyes on it. There we go as a sea in the sea, but I mean, it, that's basically what it is. And it just has to do with this being a heavier material that sits down at the bottom. And it's very toxic to life here too, because uh, the brine is basically made up of really, oh, hello, hi. Really, really, really solidify, solidified chemicals from what I remember. I think salt, but something else, like a bunch of other microbes, it's pretty toxic and it will kill the animals that swim in it. So you, you don't want to be swimming in it, but hagfish and eels and other creatures have a habit of doing that because apparently it's kind of addictive or something. But they end up dying afterward, so you have to be careful. All right, let's see what else we have here. So we need to collect these mi microbial bat vats, and each one is like its own unique species of microbes that could, because of the way they had developed, to be just so utterly unique that they could give us some insight. They might be able to give us 
New microbes for medicines. Okay, we collect onto all of those. So we need to scan another hagfish. Got it. There we go. And now where to? Up here? Alright, so these microbial mats are really I'm important. Pushing you away, point. Sperm whales are back on the hunt. We hope that today, Andreas Tech will make it possible to document how a sperm whale hunts the giant squid. Whoa, I don't know if I would want to be involved in that fight, but let's see. Alright, up we go. How the sperm whale hunts the giant squid, huh? Am I getting closer? I think so. All right, let's see what we've got. So there's something right here. Sperm well deep, deep, deep down. And another let's one over here. Let's go some sperm whales so we can eavesdrop on their hunting. One of our viewers wants to know if there is a problem with the link since the waypoints keep appearing and disappearing. No problem. The drones are in stealth mode. So, they will only track the wells by sound. I better yeah. swim fast. Okay. Enable tag receiver camera on hunting sperm whale. I think we've got that. We'll keep good watch over you. Okay, so there's a live cam as we're hunting the sperm whale now. Or not the sperm whale, as we're hunting the giant squid with the sperm whale. And now we need to keep up with the other whale. There. So that clicking, is it searching through the water? Is it gonna find the giant squid? There! Whoa! But how many giant squid are there to be able to... feed sperm whales? What just happened? I had that camera feed in full screen on my visor, and for a second, I thought it was lights out for me. Sounds like a good time for the sub to pick you up. Live stream out. Wow. Brine pools are like lakes under the ocean. They are incredibly rich in undiscovered life forms. They have the perfect cocktail for life. That was so cool, you guys! All right, that was amazing. Not gonna lie though, I'm really happy to be back in the sub. <laughs> wow. So deep. What do, what do eat the atoll jellyfish? How many giant squid are there? How are there enough to sustain populations of sperm whale? I have a lot of questions, <laughs> but all right guys. We're going to go ahead and take that in and think about some of the mysteries of the deep, deep ocean. And then when we come back, we will carry on with our adventures next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our hunting pod of sperm whale. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!